guys welcome back to world illuminate 11 on this monday i hope you're having a great day and welcome if it is your first time checking out my channel and if it is your first time checking out the channel then please do hit the subscribe button you are very welcome here if you are looking to have a personal reading done i am offering personal readings you can contact me via my email or via my website details will be in the description box below so we are going to check in with uh the energy to see what is going on we are still in this powerful energy of the lion's gate portal and the new moon as well so to see what is going on with the divine masculines and the divine feminines so we're bringing in the oceanic tarot so thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines as we start this new week what is going on with the divine masculines thank you angels what is going on with the divine masculines anything else going on with the divine masculines okay wow that one's really jumped all the way there and then thank you angels what's going on with the divine feminines okay Anything else for the Divine Feminines? Thank you, angels. Anything else going on with the Divine Feminines? Okay, right. So for the Divine Masculines, so let's see the cards that have come out. So there's a very few cards. So the first card is the Transformation, the Death card. So this is about the death of the old life and, you know, start of the new life. So they're going through this time of transformation. They are going through the time of releasing the life that they've always lived, letting go of the old, you know, so that they can be able to start their new life, move forward as well towards their divine feminine. And so they are in the place of releasing as well what needs to go. They are also going through a transformation within themselves so that they can be able to start out their new life so they are going through the death of the old and the beginning of the new and then the next card that came out is the four of wands so this is about building foundations so this is showing you that you know whilst they go through this time of transformation within themselves whilst they go through the time of letting go of the old life as they work on moving forward towards their new life they are building a foundation with you their divine feminine a foundation for the future life that you are going to we have together so really powerful that that has come out and then the other cards that came out wow for the divine masculine is the ace of wands and the ace of wands is all about sort of action and fire and passion like moving forward and it says growth here so this is showing that you know they are going through this time of growth they're going through this time of taking action in their own life as well moving forward as they go through this time of transformation so there is sort of this forward movement movement in the divine masculines you know as they move from their old life moving forward towards their new life and then the next card that came out is the knight of cups and it says proposals there so this is the the cup of love you know that the divine masculine is got for their divine feminine you know they want to be able to move forward towards their divine feminine to let you know give you that proposal you know of you know communication of letting you know how they feel you know they have that love that they're holding you know that cup of love for their divine feminine that they want to be able to move forward and let you know how they feel and that is why they're going through this time of transformation so that they can then be able to move forward to let you know how they feel and also the ace of cups has come up so this is the love you know this is about that union that they desire to have with their divine feminine as well so they are working on moving forward towards this love it says love at the bottom there so they're working on moving forward towards this love you know going through the time of change so that they can be able to have this love that union as well with their divine feminine so they are moving forward you know we had that ace of wands which is all about sort of forward movement they are taking action moving forward that is going to lead them to that union to that life with their divine feminine and that is going to bring them happiness as well so really powerful some great cards that have come out for the divine masculines here you know they are wanting to have this happiness you can see that is like that love you know the sunshine the, of the divine feminine there that's where they're moving towards you know they want to move forward towards you so that they can have this
the happiness as well in their life. And as they move forward, you know, on their path, you know, releasing that life that they've always had moving forward towards, you know, their new life, uh, you know, the new that they, they trans as they go through their transformation, they are going to find this happiness in their life. And that is also going to bring in all the things that they desire. So that is the 10 of cups as well. So this is what they're really dreaming about. You know, they're dreaming about that union. They're dreaming about, you know, moving forward to tell their divine feminine how they feel or having that union as well with their divine feminine and also having all the happiness in their life as well, you know, with the sun card that has come out here and everything that they truly desire, you know, the happy home, the family, the the love, the everything with their divine feminine. So this is what they're dreaming about. This is why they're making changes in their life. This is why they're going through the death of the old life that they've always had, leaving things behind that no longer serve them so that they can move into their new start. And this is really powerful as well with the card that came in yesterday, you know, saying that a new start is coming. So it is coming as well for the Divine Masculines as they go through this transformation, moving forward as well towards their new life. And that for them is going to bring in all the things that they desire, they have happiness and the union as well with their divine feminine so really beautiful cards and the cards that came out for the divine feminines so the first card that has come out here is the three of wands and the three of wands is all it says motivation here but it is also about you know that fire passion and that sort of planning for the life that you are desiring you know you know where you want to be you've made, set out your intentions as a divine feminine for the life that you truly desire so this is also about that planning and, you know, staying motivated, being in that place of being positive and knowing that the life that you desire is coming. So this can be you making certain plans to move forward as well on your path, to move forward as you continue to grow, as you continue to move towards your new beginnings as well. And then the next card that came out for the Divine Feminine is the Knight of Wands. And it says activity here. So this is really also about you know, sort of certain changes that may be coming into your life because uh, the Knight of Wands is also about sort of movement. You know, it can be sort of moving house. It can also really be about certain certain actions, certain things that are coming into your life. So this is about certain changes that you may be making as well in your life as you move forward on your path, you know, to the life that you truly desire as well, to your new starts that are coming in. So this is about action sort of happening in your life to lead you towards those new beginnings. And the next card that came out is the Nine of Pentacles. And it says gratitude here, but this is that card of self-love. You know, this is that divine feminine standing in her power, you know, in that place of independence, of just really being in gratitude of the life that you have right now. And that is what I was talking about in the little message that I did before, about finding that fulfillment, finding your joy and, you know, and happiness in your current life in the present moment and being grateful for all the things that you have in your life. You you know, be standing in, in that self-love and doing things for you and being in that place of gratitude. And the more you are in this place, the more you are working to bring in even greater things into your life. So this is the card of self-love for the Divine Feminine to continue to focus on yourself. And that is going to help you to bring you in all the things that you desire. And the last card that, is, that came out is the Ten of Wands. And this is about sort of letting go of burdens. It says about responsibility here. So if you have certain things that you know that no longer serve you, you know, if you're carrying a bit too much, you're trying to do too many things, it's about letting go of the things that you may you know the burdens that you may still be holding on to you know these can be burdens to do with sort of comic situations you know like maybe if you're doing a job that you don't really like it's like a burden on your shoulders and you want to release those things and focus on self-love you know if you have other comic situations if you are in a relationship that you know that this relationship needs to go and it's about releasing those things releasing the burdens and focusing on that self-love and being in the place of gratitude, doing the things that are coming from your heart and, you know, really focusing on 
the way that you feel and moving forward with doing bringing in things that bring you fulfillment and letting go of the things that sort of drag you down and don't bring in that fulfillment so the angels are saying it's important for you here to let go to keep working on letting go of the things that no longer serve you the burdens that you may have in your life and focus on gratitude focus on self-love you know focus on doing the things that bring you fulfillment and being in gratitude for your life and that is going to help to bring in all the things that you desire you know as your new start is coming in because on the other hand your divine masculine has got this idea of this life that they truly desire and they're working towards that as they go through their transformation releasing the old as well so the old life that they've always had so that they can be able to move forward towards you towards this life towards happiness and also with that you know to have that happy home and the life that they are dreaming about so everything is moving forward so you're being asked to really focus on that self-love and keep being in the place of gratitude and positivity, raising your vibration and, you know, and know that as you continue to be in this place, that is going to help you to, to help to bring in the things that you desire as your divine masculine goes through their transformation, moving forward towards you. So beautiful messages coming through, you know, that, that has been brought in by the energy of this 8-8 um, portal that we've just had. So we are going to bring in um, as well the what Work Your Light Oracle to see what is going on for the Divine Masculines. Thank you, angels. What is going on for the Divine Masculines? Anything else? Okay. And then for the Divine Feminines. Thank you, angels. What is going on for the Divine Feminines? Anything else for the Divine Feminines? I think that's that okay so the cards that have come out for the divine masculines so the first one is the whale and okra elders it says and it says share your song frequency of sound diving deep and you can see that whale is sort of diving deep this is about the divine masculines diving deep into themselves you know working on the things that they need to work on working on transforming as well releasing what needs to go so they are going through this time of diving deep to make the changes that they need to make in their life so that they can be able to move forward towards this happiness that they that they desire towards that 10 of cups energy the life that they truly desire so so they are in this process of, you know, diving deep to make the changes that they need to make. And then the next card that came out for the Divine Masculines is the Blue Flame. And it says Spontaneous Awakening, Activation, Integration Time. So this is showing you that the Divine Masculines are going through this time of awakening. You know, they are going through a time of activation as well that is helping them to move forward towards their divine feminine, towards that life that they desire. And you can see there, you know, it's like that activation that is happening as they walk through that portal as well. And that is, you know, this 8-8 eight, eight portal that we've just had. So they are going through this time of awakening, this time of being activated, of activation as well within themselves so that they can be able to go through their transformation, move away from the old life that they've already had as they move towards their new beginnings. So this is really powerful that this card has come out for the Divine Masculines. It shows that they are going through this time of change, this time of transformation. And the next card that came out is lifting the veil. And it says questioning everything. Anything unaligned must go. So this is really powerful. That came out for the divine masculine as well. So, you know, that is all. They're sort of lifting that veil, seeing the things in their lives that are not aligned anymore. And they are realizing that all these things that are not aligned, they must go. That's that old life that is about, that is, you know, the death of the old life as they move forward towards their new life. They are in this place of questioning everything, questioning the life that they've always known questioning you know the things that are going on in the world questioning their own life you know diving deep into themselves to really sort of find out who they truly are so they're going through this time of questioning everything and working on walking away from everything that is not aligned so that they can be able to move forward towards that happiness towards that life that they truly desire you know towards that union as well with their divine feminine so they are working on releasing everything that is or the things that are not aligned 
with releasing, you know, karmic situations so that they can be able to move forward towards the life that they desire. And then the next card that came out is the Seven Star Sisters. And it says, Birthing Creations, Tapestry of Life and Expression. So this is showing that, you know, the Divine Masculines are working on really sort of starting to express themselves for who they truly are. They're finding out who they are, diving deep into themselves so that they can be really be able to express themselves for who they truly are letting go of the old life so that they can really step into their power they can really sort of move more into their true authentic self and be able to express themselves for who they are you know birthing creations you know things that they may be working on as well in their own life so they are working on changing this plane i couldn't work out what it was um they are working on changing their life so that they can move forward towards the life that they truly desire and then the cards that came out for the divine feminine so a few cards have come out here and then it says breath of the cosmos my will to thy will micromanaging the universe so this is about the divine feminine you can see the divine feminine they're sort of like in flow you know just go, going with the flow in relation to their life you know saying to the creator let my will to thy will to the will of the creator to the will of the universe you know micromanaging the universe realizing that you are a part of the universe and that you, your life is really you've got this life plan that you're following and you are understanding that it is about letting go and following the will you know the divine plan that is there in relation to your life so this is about you sort of letting go as the divine feminine and just sort of saying my will to thy will you set your intentions and then you trust that you are going to be guided to exactly where you're truly meant to be so this is about you sort of getting more into the place of flow as the divine feminine and then the next card that came out is big picture thinking and it says play this energy visionary inspired ideas so divine feminine this is showing that you know you are getting more into this place of that big picture thinking of realizing that you are a part of a much bigger picture Picture and you know that there is always a bigger picture as well when it comes to your journey with your divine masculine when it comes to your mission when it comes to the reason that you are here you're not getting into the place of just being focused on you know how you want things to happen you're understanding that you are part of that big picture as well so you are you are having big picture thinking and you know and you're realizing that the ideas that you have about the life that you desire the things that you're working on your mission and everything that is coming in you're getting inspiration to move in a certain direction that you are being guided towards the life that you're truly meant to live and again we've got that portal as well showing that you are being guided towards you know the life that you're truly here to live and the next card that came out is activated earth and it says power places ley lines trust where you're led so really really powerful that this came out for the divine feminines so you're being asked to trust where you're led trust in the divine guidance that is leading you towards that life that you truly desire the life that you are destined to live and the life that you are here to live as that is part of your soul plan so it's about you trusting that you are being divinely guided trust where you are led because you are being led in the direction of the life that you are truly meant to live so it's about you having you know i talked about it in the little video i did about the trust and having faith that you are being guided to exactly where you are truly meant to be and then the last card that came out for the divine feminines is all parts lead home and it says inner authority intuition turn your gaze within so divine feminine the angels are saying it's about you focusing on your inner world listen to your intuition you are being divinely guided through your intuition you know trust where you're being led by your intuition as well because that's how you're guided by the angels and by your spirit guides so it's about trusting your inner authority and also turn your gaze within 
do, do not focus on the outside world turn your gaze within because everything starts from within you and you have all the answers within that are going to lead you to where you're truly meant to be so you're being asked to turn your gaze within connect with your divine masculine within because you know you you are or always connected you know there was never any separation with your divine masculine you're always together so turn that gaze within rather than on what is going on or not going on with them on the 3d connect with them within and you know and know that all paths lead home everything that is going on with your divine masculine right now is helping to lead them back home to you their divine feminine and they are going to find the way and you know whatever situation may they may be in you know know that all paths lead home and everything is all part of that big picture thinking that came through for the divine feminine that your understanding is well now that they are reasons why the things are happening the way they are with your divine masculine, but all paths lead home. So they are going to come back to you. They have that idea of, you know, that vision of that happiness and that union and the life that they already have, you know, with the love that they want in their life. So they are moving forward towards you. So it's about focusing on your inner world, you know, turn your gaze within and know from the way that you feel and from the, that inner knowingness that you already have that they are moving forward towards you and know as well the big message that's come th coming through is that all paths lead home so they are being led towards you really beautiful messages so we are going to also bring in uh the divine lover oracle cards thank you angels to see what messages are coming through in relation to your journey Okay, so the cards that came out, so the first one is gu Guiding Light, and it says, you light my way. So this is a message from your Divine Masculine saying, Divine Feminine, continue what you're doing because you light my way. When all is bleak around me, you are the light that shines the way forward and guides me home. Absolutely powerful. You know, all paths lead home. They're being led home towards you, their divine feminine. And they are saying to you, you know, even when crazy things are going on in their life, when when all is bleak around them, you know, going through the dark night of the soul, not really sure where to go. You know, you are the light that shines the way forward and guides me home. Your divine masculine is saying, I'm magnetized to your healing light. It opens my heart and makes me strong. So this is about you continuing to shine your light bright, divine feminine, because that is helping your divine masculine. It magnetizes uh, them to to your healing light and it opens their heart and makes them strong so that they can continue to move forward towards you and the next card that came out is hold me and it says i need to feel your arms around me things are not right in my world and i'm longing for your embrace today please send me your love so that i know everything will be okay so it sounds like your divine masculine is going through, you know, some things in their life, you know, so continue to shine your light. You know, there may be the things that are going on as they go through this time of the death of the old, the time of transformation. You know, there are things that they are sort of dealing with in their life. So they're asking for you to send through the, your light and that's you doing it from your heart and they will feel that. And the last card that came out is a wonder and it says, I close my eyes and and think of the wonder that is you you are a special unique creation that is heaven sent feel the light that blooms within you and connects us together in spiritual truth always it's a miracle you are mine so another message from your divine masculine here letting you know saying to you feel the light that blooms within you so again about connecting with them through your heart you know through through the light that connects us together in spiritual truth always so you are always connected so you've connect with them by feeling that power within you and connecting them with them within so really beautiful messages coming through as you know as we have this powerful energy of of this um of, of, of the lion's gate portal so we are going to finish off with some angel wishes to see what the angels would like you to know so thank you angels okay that's half the the deck let's do that again thank you angels what messages are coming through for everyone 
as we start this new week okay three cards let's see so the first card that came out remember your angels are always there to guide you so you are not alone you are being guided on your journey and remember that the angels are always there to guide you you know whispering th th to you through your intuition so it's about going within and listening to your intuition and the next card is seeing a rainbow is a sign from your loved ones in spirit so you know if you are seeing a rainbow that's a sign that your journey is protected as well the angels showing you that you and your divine masculine and your journey is protected they are showing you this love so it's a sign of from your loved ones in spirit that you are safe and protected and the last thing that came the last cards that came out is you need to put the music back into your life so the angels are saying put music back into your life if you know listen to some music it will really help to uplift you to raise your vibration as well and you will get those messages coming through from your divine masculine and from the angels as well if you know messages in music so you're being asked to put music back into your life so i hope you have a great day guys i'll see you on the next video love peace positivity and light